everyone. Our last topic in chapter one is solution stoichiometry, which again is related to this first course goal to use dimensional analysis, concentration units, and stoichiometry to solve problems about aqueous solutions. So I really don't have any background material to give you. I think it's best if we just jump right in and try to do this example. They want to know how many grams of 0.491 weight percent aqueous hydrofluoric acid solution are required to provide a 50% excess to react with 25 mils of 0.0236 molar thorium-4 by this reaction? So notice that one mole of thorium-4 combines with four moles of fluoride to form a precipitate. That method we talked about is called gravimetric analysis. But let's see if we can solve this problem. What we're looking for is how many grams of this HF solution, and we know the concentration, it's 0 0.491 weight percent, and we're combining it with 0 0.0 236 molar thorium-4, and we have 25 mils of this thorium-4 solution. So again, we're looking for grams of HF solution. And I don't know where you want to begin, but anytime I see molarity and volume, I want to get to moles. So I'm thinking if we find the moles of thorium-4 we have, we can at the very least find the moles of fluoride needed and then go from there. So let's begin with this thorium-4 concentration, that 0 0.0236 moles of thorium-4 for every liter of solution. And we have 25 mils, which is 0 0.0250 liters of solution. So that would tell us how many moles of thorium-4 we have. Now we might want to say that for every one mole of thorium-4, four moles of fluoride are needed. And you know, at this point, I might add one more. I think that that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to do this arithmetic. And I'm getting 0 0.00236 moles of fluoride. And this is the moles of fluoride that's needed to react with all of the thorium-4 there. But that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for this 50% excess. So they want to know the moles of fluoride needed to react with the moles of thorium plus 50% extra. So I'm going to add 50% extra and half of 0 0.00236 is 0 0.00118 moles of fluoride. Again, that's for this 50% excess that they're wanting us to use. So let me add these two together. And that gives 0 0.00354 moles of fluoride needed to react with all of this thorium plus give us 50% extra. And this also equals the moles of HF needed. So maybe from there, I can find the grams of HF solution. So let me rewrite these moles of HF, 0, 0, 3, 5, 4 moles of HF. And I'm trying to get grams of solution, so I don't know what to do next, but maybe I ought to convert moles of HF into grams of HF. 
they gave me the formula weight here so we can say for every one mole of HF there are 20.01 grams of HF and I think that was helpful because now we can use this definition of weight percent for every 0.491 grams of HF there are 100 grams of HF solution and I think that does it let's see if we can finish the problem So doing the arithmetic on my calculator, I got 14.4, and I think those are the sig figs that I need, and I'm just going to keep an extra 14.4 with an in insignificant 3 grams of solution. So we solved the problem, and we'll do a few more difficult solution stoichiometry problems in class. Thanks for listening.